Have you ever wondered about the environmental impact of your last flight? Air travel. It's become such a commonplace part of our lives. Jetting off to tropical islands for a sun-drenched vacation, zipping across continents for business meetings, or simply visiting loved ones who live a world away. The world is at our fingertips thanks to the marvel of aviation. In less than a century, we have transformed from a society that marveled at the sight of the first airplane to one that takes the convenience of air travel for granted. Today, we can wake up in New York and go to bed in Paris. We can explore the ancient ruins of Rome one week and the bustling markets of Tokyo the next. We have become global citizens and air travel has played an enormous part in this transformation. But as we sit in our climate-controlled cabins, sipping on our complimentary beverages, how often do we consider the impact of our journey on the world below? How often do we stop to ponder the trails of emissions our aircraft leaves behind in the sky, or the amount of energy consumed to keep us airborne? Air travel, while a symbol of human progress and connectivity, is also a significant contributor to environmental degradation. From the carbon emissions released into the atmosphere to the noise pollution around airports, the environmental footprints of our flights are far-reaching and substantial. This isn't to say that we should stop flying altogether. After all, air travel has opened up opportunities and experiences that were unimaginable just a few generations ago. But it is crucial that we acknowledge and understand the impact of our actions. As we continue to embrace the conveniences and opportunities offered by air travel, we must also confront the environmental challenges it poses. We must ask ourselves, are there ways to make air travel more sustainable? Can we continue to enjoy the benefits of flying without compromising the health of our planet? Traveling by air is a modern day necessity, but at what cost to our planet? As we delve deeper into this topic, Let's keep this question in mind. The choices we make today will shape the world of tomorrow. How does air travel stack up against other modes of transportation in terms of environmental impact? This question might seem simple, but the answer is far from it. Let's dive in and explore the environmental impact of various modes of transportation, including cars, trains and ships, and compare them with the impact of air travel. Starting with cars, these are the most common mode of transportation for many of us. However, they are also significant contributors to greenhouse gas emissions. On average, a car emits about 150 grams of CO2 per kilometer per passenger. This number can vary based on factors such as the car's fuel efficiency and the number of passengers. Now, let's consider trains. While they also emit CO2, their emissions are generally lower than those of cars. An average train emits approximately 50 grams of CO2 per kilometer per passenger. Trains are more energy efficient and can carry more people, reducing the CO2 emissions per passenger. Ships, on the other hand, are a different story. Despite their slower speed, they emit a significant amount of CO2. An average ship emits around 250 grams of CO2 per kilometer per passenger. This is due to the massive amounts of fuel they consume. Now, let's turn to air travel. Flying is a fast and convenient way to travel long distances, but it comes with a high environmental cost. An average flight emits a staggering 285 grams of CO2 per kilometer per passenger. This is nearly twice as much as cars and more than five times as much as trains. So what does this all mean? It means that while each mode of transportation has its own environmental impact, air travel stands out due to its high CO2 emissions. Even though it offers speed and convenience, it also contributes significantly to climate change. While air travel may seem the fastest, it also holds the record for the highest CO2 emissions. This is something we all need to consider as we make our travel choices. Ever wondered about the science behind all these emissions? Let's delve into the nitty-gritty. Airplanes, much like cars or any other fuel-consuming vehicles, run on fossil fuels. These fuels are rich in carbon, and when burnt, they combine with oxygen in the air to form carbon dioxide, or CO2. This is the primary greenhouse gas emitted through human activities, and it's a major player in our climate change scenario. To put it simply, when an airplane takes off, cruises or lands, it's burning fuel. 
The process of combustion converts the carbon in the fuel into carbon dioxide. This CO2 is then released into the atmosphere, contributing to the greenhouse effect. But here's where air travel differs from your average car trip. Airplanes release these emissions directly into the upper atmosphere. This is a double whammy. Not only does it contribute to the greenhouse effect, but it also results in something called radiative forcing. This means the impact on the climate is magnified, as these high-altitude emissions produce contrails and trigger the formation of cirrus clouds, both of which have a warming effect. And let's not forget about nitrogen oxides, or NOx. These are also released when jet fuel is burned, and they too contribute to global warming. NOx gases react with other chemicals in the atmosphere to form smog and acid rain, causing further environmental damage. The science of emissions from air travel isn't just about CO2, it's also about where these emissions occur and the other gases involved. It's a complex equation with every flight adding to the total. To give you a sense of scale, the aviation industry contributes about 2% of all human-induced CO2 emissions globally. That might not sound like much, but remember, this is just one industry. And when you factor in the effects of radiative forcing, aviation's total contribution to global warming is estimated to be around 5%. This is the science behind the impact. It's a potent mix of chemistry, physics and atmospheric science, and it's a stark reminder of the environmental cost of air travel. The science makes it clear air travel has a significant carbon footprint. So, what does this mean for our planet? The impact of air travel on our environment is more substantial than we may like to admit. The thin, wispy trails of white called contrails that we see etched across the sky by high-flying aircraft are not as harmless as they seem. Contrails are composed of water vapor, soot, and minuscule particles of sulfur compounds. These particles, high in the atmosphere, can interact with sunlight and lead to the formation of cirrus clouds, contributing to global warming. Now let's talk about carbon dioxide, the primary greenhouse gas responsible for climate change. A single long-haul flight can produce more carbon dioxide per passenger than many people do in a whole year. The aviation industry as it stands today contributes to roughly 2% of all global human-induced carbon dioxide emissions. This might not sound like a lot, but remember, we're talking about a single industry. Air travel doesn't just contribute to global warming, it's also a significant source of noise and air pollution. The roar of jet engines disrupts communities living near airports, affecting both human health and wildlife. At the same time, aircraft emit pollutants like nitrogen oxides and particulates, contributing to poor air quality around airports. Climate change and global warming aren't just buzzwords. They're real, tangible threats that are affecting our planet right now. Rising sea levels, more frequent and severe heat waves, changes in rainfall patterns and loss of biodiversity are just a few examples of the challenges we face. And air travel, in its current form, plays a role in exacerbating these issues. As we continue to explore our world, taking to the skies to visit distant lands, we must also consider the impact of our actions. Every flight we take leaves a mark, a carbon footprint, if you will, on our planet. But it's not all doom and gloom. With awareness and the right choices, we can mitigate the impact of our flights and move towards more sustainable air travel. The toll on our planet is real, and it's time for us to pay attention. Is there anything we can do to mitigate these effects? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? As we navigate the skies, there are indeed several measures we can take to lessen our impact on the environment. First off, there's carbon offsetting. This is a way to balance out our carbon emissions by investing in projects that reduce greenhouse gas emissions elsewhere. Think of it as a trade-off. We emit carbon by flying, but we can offset it by contributing to initiatives that absorb carbon or prevent its release. These projects could range from reforestation efforts to renewable energy development. Next, we can choose to fly with airlines that prioritize sustainability. Some airlines are implementing biofuels, which are made from organic matter like plants or waste. These biofuels can significantly reduce the carbon footprint of air travel. Plus, they're renewable, which means we're not depleting the Earth's finite resources. In addition, airlines are continually working on improving their fuel efficiency. 
modern aircraft are about 70% more fuel efficient than those from the 60s. That's a huge leap. By choosing airlines with newer, more fuel efficient fleets, we can help push the industry towards a greener future. And then, of course, there's the option to reduce air travel where possible. Yes, it's not always feasible, especially when you're itching to explore the far corners of the world. But consider this. Could you take a train instead of a plane for shorter trips? Or maybe combine multiple trips into one extended journey? Remember, every flight avoided is a significant reduction in carbon emissions. It's not about giving up travel entirely, but about making more conscious choices when we do. In the end, it all boils down to this. We have the power to make a difference. By taking these steps, we can help mitigate the impact of air travel on our environment. It might seem like a drop in the ocean, but remember, every drop counts. Every small step counts when it comes to protecting our planet. What does the future hold for air travel? As we look forward, we see a horizon not only filled with flights crisscrossing the globe, but also the promise of more sustainable options. In the realm of scientific exploration, researchers are tirelessly pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and air travel is no exception. The quest for more sustainable aviation is leading us to some truly fascinating innovations. Take electric planes, for instance. These marvels of technology aren't just figments of our imagination, they're becoming a reality. By harnessing the power of electricity, we can significantly reduce the carbon emissions associated with conventional jet fuel. The first commercial electric plane has already taken to the skies, offering us a glimpse into a cleaner future. But the innovation doesn't stop there. Biofuels, derived from renewable sources like algae or plant waste, are also making their way into the aviation sector. These fuels emit fewer greenhouse gases, and unlike fossil fuels, they're renewable. And then there's the concept of hybrid planes. Much like hybrid cars, these aircraft would utilize a combination of electricity and jet fuel to power their flights. This could potentially offer a balance between sustainability and performance, giving us the best of both worlds. Moreover, the future might even see the advent of solar-powered planes. Imagine, if you will, a plane soaring through the skies, its wings adorned with solar panels, harnessing the power of the sun. This is not a mere flight of fancy, but a possibility that researchers are actively exploring. In addition, airlines and airports worldwide are working to reduce their carbon footprint through various means, from implementing more efficient air traffic control systems to investing in carbon offset projects. The future of air travel is a fascinating frontier of technological advancements and environmental responsibility. It's a journey that we're all a part of, as we strive to reconcile our love for travel with our duty to protect the planet. And while there are still many challenges to overcome, one thing is clear. The future of air travel could be greener than we imagine. So what should we take away from all this information? In the grand scheme of things, it's clear that air travel, while a marvel of human ingenuity, carries a significant environmental cost. The carbon footprint of a single flight is substantial, surpassing that of other modes of transportation on a per-passenger basis. By jetting across the sky, we're contributing to the greenhouse gas emissions that fuel climate change. But let's not forget the unique role air travel plays in our global society. It bridges continents, facilitates cultural exchange, and drives economic growth. It's not simply a matter of choosing to fly or not to fly. The question is how we can continue to reap the benefits of air travel while minimizing its environmental impact. We've also delved into the science behind it all. From contrails to carbon emissions, the impact of air travel extends far beyond the simple burning of jet fuel. It's a complex web of interactions between aircraft, the atmosphere and the climate. Understanding this science is crucial in shaping effective mitigation strategies. The toll on our planet is undeniable. The aviation industry is responsible for about 2% of global carbon dioxide emissions. But remember, this figure is set to rise with the projected growth in air travel. We're at a critical juncture where we must balance our desire for global connectivity with the need to protect our planet. On a more hopeful note, We've explored some of the promising mitigation measures on the horizon, from fuel-efficient aircraft to sustainable aviation fuels 
there's a host of innovations that could help us decarbonize air travel. It's a challenging task, but with concerted effort and investment, it's within our reach. To sum it up, it's about making informed choices. It's about recognizing the impact of our actions and taking steps to reduce our carbon footprint. Whether it's offsetting emissions, opting for direct flights, or supporting airlines that prioritize sustainability, we each have a role to play in shaping the future of air travel. The choices we make today will shape our world tomorrow. Choose wisely, travel responsibly.